So in today's video, I'm gonna teach you exactly how you can create print on demand t-shirts by using place it and how you are able to create designs just like this and sell those things on Etsy. I'm gonna share it all with you coming up next. Welcome back to the video, my friends. You're new here. My name is Jade on this channel. I do everything from how to videos and step by step guides, teach you exactly how to create your own products online. So if you like content like this, consider subscribing to my channel. Now, one of the reasons why I love using Placeit is because everything on the platform I can use to sell on an online platform like Wix, Shopify, Amazon, and in today's uh, strategy, we're going to learn how to do that on Etsy. And there's a couple of things I want to teach you of how to create these designs just like this and how you can actually create these on your own using the elements and the fonts that are in place it. So I want to share with you how to do this right now. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into placeit.net. I'm going to leave the link in my description box below. Uh, and also they have left a discount code if you want to jump in here and start creating your own t-shirts. But the first thing I want to do is just, just go ahead and go to design. And I want to go to apparel and go to t-shirt designs. Now, one thing I like about placeit is that they already kind of give me inspirations of t-shirts I can design and create. And again, all the fonts and all the elements that's used in these t-shirts that are really colorful, I can actually sell on my print on demand site. So one of the things I want to make is a teacher Christmas shirt. So place it allows you to see different type of t-shirt designs as well as to filter them on the left hand side. But because I already know I want to make a teacher t-shirt, I'm going to go ahead and go to education shirt. So now we're in the educational t-shirt niche. And again, what's pretty cool about this is that it brings up different fonts and different elements you can use that's already in your niche. And so I can just go down here and use a template and I can recreate from there. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this one right here. And what's pretty cool about place it design templates is that if I just hover over this, they already give me different versions of the shirt that I can make. So that's really allowing me to have some inspiration of where I can take this design. So one of the main inspirations of creating this type of teacher t-shirt really comes from what is selling on Etsy right now. Again, all these designs I can make on place it. And again, this is proving that this design is going to work because it's already a bestseller. So again, our goal is not to copy this, right? But our goal is to be inspired by this. And again, this is selling really well. It is a bestseller. And so I want to go back into place it and recreate my own version of this right now. So here's a t-shirt that I'm going to use to recreate my design. And so what I can already tell you with place is that all the fonts can be changed. Again, all the elements can be changed as, as well as well as the background that we have. And so I want to make sure that I am putting the same type of wording on my t-shirt, but again, giving a different type of style. So as you can see, I can go in here and I can change the font as well as uh, change the color here. And again, this really gives you creative design over all the things that you want to do in regards to your t-shirt. Now it's pretty cool with this. Say if I want to add an additional piece of text, what I would do is I would go to the add text and again, I will add uh, the font that I want to do. And the way you do that is you go down to the bottom of the font and you go to more fonts and you pick the same font that you used here. So what I typically do, is I just try to go up here and see what font I used. Head over here and just type it in delight. And here's my font. And one thing you can do is you can actually favorite whatever fonts you use so you know which ones you can go back to to continue to create your design. So if you notice, I have like this little gray background to my text. And the easy way to fix that is go over to your color tab and hit text background. And you want to make that transparent. And again, that goes along with our overall flow. You can move it any way you want to to actually get something that fits in which overall design. But again, as you can see, this is coming out pretty well already. So if I want to add another piece of text, I just go to add another text. So notice how it kept the font style that I'm using. And so I'm just going to add in my word here. And again, I go back and to change the text background as transparent, I go here and just hit transparent. And again, I can change the size of all the words that I have just by grabbing the edges here, making it big, making it small. But however I want it, I can change the rotation as well. And again, the overall look and size of my words. So again, here just have I teach the brightest students. And again, I want to make this a little bit bigger here. So as you can see, you have creative design to change everything you have with your fonts and your overall style of your T-shirt. And I want to go here and just make this lowercase just 
because I want it to be the same with the rest of the words. So as you can see, our T-shirt is looking good already. So we already did our hard work with the text. And again, all these texts in here, you can actually use these for T-shirts, which is pretty cool. But one thing that we do want to change is the element that we have here, right? So we have this Apple thing and we want to change that because we want to fit that to our theme of a teacher Christmas T-shirt. So what's really cool about Place It is that I can just click on this and go over to the right hand side and I want to add an image here. And so I want to filter that with something that's Christmas, right? And I can even go a little bit further here and say Christmas lights. So as you can see here, it is pulling up everything regarding Christmas lights that is on the Placeit website. Now, if you don't see something that you want, you can always upload your own image here by going to upload image. And again, that will be a part of the elements you use for this t-shirt. But for our case today, I think there's enough for us here to utilize their elements to still create a good t-shirt. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this one here. And as you can see, it already incorporated our colors here which is the red and the green and all these colors. Again, you can just change the way you want them to all with the color wheel. But I think for right now, I think our t-shirt looks really good. So the same thing like our text, we can go and make this smaller or larger by grabbing onto the edges here. And again, I just want to rearrange my overall design. I do want to add this in here. All right, so I think our t-shirt is really coming together. I just wanna add one more thing in this open space here. So say if I want to add a different element, again, place it is really good because it has a lot of things already in here that I can use. So I wanna go and add another image here so I can go up here and just click add another graphic. And again, I can filter through all of the options that we have here. So I do want to stick with my Christmas theme. And I want to pick this snowflake. I think that looks pretty cool. So as you can see, again, it sticks with our overall color of that red and that green, but I can go in here and change that if I want to just by clicking these arrows. But again, that goes really well with our overall design. So I'm gonna keep that just like it is. I'll move this over here. Again, I can make it large or small based upon how I grab the edges. And again, I can rotate this as well, like I did with my overall fonts and my words but I'm gonna let it stay exactly where it is because I think it is good where we have it right now. And I'm gonna put it in this open space here just to fill in this little gap of our overall t-shirt design. So there you have it. I think we have a pretty good t-shirt design. Now, one thing I wanna make sure I tell you is that make sure you make the background transparent. Now, what I really enjoy regarding using Place It is that I can already tell how the shirt is gonna look on different color t-shirts. Again, when I actually download this, I want to make this transparent. So I go to background and I hit transparent. And again, this is what I am able to download and actually upload this to my print partner site like Printful if I want to make this as a t-shirt using their platform. And the reason why I like changing the background is because I am able to determine if this design looks well on a certain color t-shirt. So I'm gonna share that with you right now. This shirt I know will look good on white. However, if I want to create a red t-shirt, I can see right now that probably would not be the best t-shirt to actually sell this in. And so again, I'm able to change all these colors and really make a decision what type of design I want based upon the color t-shirt I want to sell. So I know white looks very well, but I'm also gonna share with you how to recreate this for different t-shirt colors so that you can actually sell multiple t-shirts just like this. But I think for right now, our design looks pretty well. Again, I'm gonna make the background transparent. And once I make it transparent, I can download this. And again, now this is ready to upload to my print partner website. Now, before we finish up with today's video, I'm gonna teach you exactly how to change your overall color of your design to fit different color t-shirts. So again, we already know that our text here is black, but again, if I want to lay this on a black t-shirt, then what I would have to do is change the color of my font. And that is super easy to do without creating this from scratch all over again, right? I am a firm believer that you want to create from what you already have and make different designs from there. So I'm going to do that now. Now, the easy way to change the color of the text that's already here is to highlight the text that you want to change. Go over to the left-hand column and go ahead and change the color of your text. In this case, I want to make all of my text white. So again, I go here, just highlight the text box that I want to change. 
I want to make sure I go to text color. And again, change this also to white as well as students to white. Now, this will allow me to actually put my design on a black t-shirt. And again, before I even go through that process of uploading to my print partner, and just to realize that this color shirt is not best for this design, I can test all of that right here by making my background black. And again, as you can see, this looks pretty well. And if I want to bring the color up higher to a gray, then I can see how that looks as well. But again, the reason why you want to do this is to make sure that your design looks well before you actually place it on a t-shirt. So in my next video, I'm gonna teach you exactly how to take your t-shirt design and actually how to mock it up on real models. Make sure you check out my link in my description box below for that next video. So that's the end of today's video, my friends. That was in a way helpful or encouraging. Let me know by leaving a like on today's video. And again, everything I talked about today will be linked in my description box below, along with that discount code so you can get started creating these designs on places. But as always, my friends, my name is Jay, and I will see you in the next video.